After fleeing the jihadists who threatened their remote village, Aisha Tassan had no idea that another mighty challenge lay ahead, proving to the authorities that a 12-year-old daughter, Nadia, existed. Like countless other children in Niger, Nadia has no birth certificate. Where I am right now, I just don't have the money. Since last year, I was told that my daughter can't go to college if she doesn't have the document. Some villages have no official records for births, and the lack of certificate becomes all the more problematic for families who are displaced. Today, an identity card is required to enroll in a school. <laughs> Many children do not have a birth certificate. You have to go to the exam, and at the exam, we can't send them to another round without having a civil status that indicates who they are, where they come from, that identifies them. In Niger, with half of the population under the age of 15, four out of ten are not registered due to a lack of state infrastructure, old habits, or simply a lack of knowledge of the law. They're not yet systematically registering as soon as civil status events occur in their family. They're still waiting for the need to do so, for example, for school, for justice, that the need arises for other circumstances in life, to benefit from a grant, to open an account at the bank. And so it's at this point that people realize that they need to do civil status record, whereas they should have done so much earlier. With the support of the international community, Niger is trying to solve the problem. Today, 60% of births are registered, but this still leaves 4 out of 10 children invisible to the state.